guys welcome back okay so today was not really the best day for me wasn't really feeling that great all day so I decided that maybe if I put on some makeup and just kind of have some fun that it'll help me to feel a little bit better so this is the look that I came up with today so let's just go ahead and jump right in so yeah <laughs> this is what we're starting with feeling a little glum so I'm going to start out by placing some of this lip mask on my lips. This is from Seraphine Botanicals. It's Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. And to moisturize, I'm using my Tarte Baba Balm. This stuff is pretty cool. It has the top that you squeeze and <laughs> the moisturizer comes out. And this moisturizer is nice and thick and creamy. I really, really like how it felt. It didn't smell like anything to me but it absorbed into my skin nicely and my face felt very very hydrated so for my brows i'm going in with my pure pencil this is the on point on point pencil um and it's basically an eyeliner pencil but i like using it for my brows because it's dark and it stays put so <laughs> yeah i like using it to clean up my brows i always use my wet n wild concealer and what I do is I take a flat brush, get some of the concealer onto the flat brush, and as you can see, I just kind of make a cleaner line for my brows just to clean them up a bit. So easy breezy, no fuss. Now to prep my lids today, I'm using this Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. It is the shade Prime and it's nice and bright so I'm just kind of blending that out all over my lids as you can see and today's palette is the Revolution Enchanted palette it's one of their forever flawless palettes nice dark grungy looking palette I believe it came out like around um, October for Halloween if I'm not mistaken I could be mistaken but it's like the perfect Halloween palette so yeah, this is the palette for today. So I'm just going to start out with this brown shade called Grim. Oh, and I'm using my girl DJ's brushes from DJ's Unique Boutique. She does have a seven piece brush set. I did go ahead and order a few more because I like to have a lot of brushes. So <laughs> I have a whole bundle of her brushes, but definitely check them out on her website, DJ's Unique Boutique. There is a link in my description box so you can check out these new brushes. They're really, really nice, you guys. Very soft. They work very, very well. And you can save 10% if you use my affiliate link. So, yeah, I'm just going in with this brown shade. As you can see, it's the same color as my skin, and I'm just using that as a nice transition shade. Next, I'm going into this dark navy blue called Inky. And I'm using one of the smaller brushes just to kind of tap that in my inner and outer corners. I decided I wanted to do like a halo type eye look today. Um, when I sit down to do my eyes, I never have a plan. Never. I just kind of sit down and wing it. So, you know, if you're wondering if I sit down and plan out my eye looks, I don't. I just sit down, open up the palette, grab some brushes, and just go for it. <laughs> so... You know, you never really know what you're going to get with me. But as you can see, I'm just creating the inner and outer, you know, border for this look. Next, I'm going into the matte green shade called Vine. And these shadows for Revolution are actually quite decent. Quite decent. So for the center portion of my halo, I'm taking that green shimmer called Fern. And as you can see, I did spray my brush a bit and I'm just tapping that all over the center of my lid, going back in with some of that matte green shade just to kind of blend the edges out. Now I wanted to do something a little bit different for my liner, you guys know me. So I'm taking this JD Glow Liquid Multi-Chrome in the shade No Way and I'm just taking an eyeliner brush and tapping that across the lower portion of my lid, just kind of creating a bit of an eyeliner type look with this multi-chrome shadow. I was curious to see what it was going to look like. So this is what the shadow looks like. Very, very pretty. You can see that shift. So now let me go ahead and start on my face. I'm using my Touch and Soul Icy Sherbert Primer today. 
this stuff is quite weird as you can see when i dig into it it kind of just i don't know i don't know how to describe it but you can see the consistency it's kind of like a clear putty type primer which is really cool it felt good going on so we'll see how it works now to handle my dark circles i'm using this essence uh camouflage concealer you guys this concealer is actually quite decent I always use it just to kind of camouflage <laughs> my dark circles and hyperpigmentation. But today I really just used it as my overall concealer. And as you can see, the coverage is nice. Blended out nice and everything. So to set that, I'm using my black opal powder. This is the Ultra Matte Foundation Powder. And I'm just using that to set under my eyes. A little bit lighter than my foundation powder. So, and today since i am using a foundation powder i am doing things a little bit differently on my face so i'm going in with the new fenty beauty pro filter and i'm using the shade 400. i do have a video dedicated completely to you know using this powder and fenty products if you're curious so i'm just going in using it again for the second time and honestly my thoughts haven't changed I really, really like this powder foundation. It's really nice. It looks like super natural to me on the skin and the color match is great. So to bronze, I'm going in with my Gucci bronzer for the first time today. And I'm just kind of going in, taking it easy. I like to kind of get a feel for a bronzer before I just go ham with it. So that's what I'm doing, using one of my DJ's Boutique brushes just to kind of gently tap it on to see what it does see what the color is like and see how it blends out. And I'm really, really liking it. <laughs> the way it's acting, I know I can just kind of use a larger brush and kind of go ham with it if I want to and it won't get out of hand. So for blush, I wanted to do something a little shimmery today. So I'm using this pure um, little blush compact. This is called the Light Up Vanity Blush Palette. And as you can see, it definitely has that beautiful shimmer in there with the blush. And I really like that. Now for my lower lash line, I decided to go ahead and go with green. So I'm using this Rockin's Cosmetic Pencil that I got from BoxyCharm, I believe. And just putting it on my lower lash line, smoking that out with some more of that matte green. For my inner corner, I'm going into the shade Frost. Just a beautiful white shimmer in the palette. I did spray my brush. And just tapping that to add that pop of illumination in the inner corner. And I think that really made this eye look pop. So I have my lashes on now, as you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lips using one of my DJ's Boonique, <laughs> Boonique. DJ's Boutique Lip Liners. <laughs> I'm just going in and lining my lips. And I'm going to be using one of my ColourPop lipsticks today. This one is actually one of the Lux Velvet lipsticks in the shade Fatal or Fatal, whatever. Um, I love this color. I think it's really pretty. What I do like about this lipstick is it feels really, really nice and creamy going on. It's not dry. It's like you really can't even fill it on your lips, but they don't wear very well. So that's one thing that I don't like about it. Now I'm using my Cover Effects Dewy Setting Spray today, trying this out. Got this cute little sample size and it feels really good. The mister is really nice and light. It's not like that super hard burst, so I do like that about it. And I think it is looking nice, giving me a nice healthy glow. So this is the look I came up with today, you guys. And I must say, I do feel a bit better after putting on some makeup. So hope you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching. Toodles!